those operating principles, they are how you do things. Now, we're not talking SOPs. I'm going to give you an example of Southwest Airlines. They are operating principles. They have two that I remember particularly. One was we're only going to grow 20% a year, which I totally agree with. Uh, it, when they first started, when they had, and they've been around 40 years now and have been profitable every year. And how many airlines have gone out of business? But they said, even though we have opportunities to grow faster than that, we don't want to because we don't want to outgrow ourselves. And, and then we can't deliver the kind of service that we want to. Um, it's kind of the process for combining the, the ingredients. The other uh, operating principle of Southwest Airlines is we'll only fly 737s. Now, think about that. From you, you guys are accountants. That means every pilot in the fleet can fly every plane. So if you need a pilot in Kansas City or, or Denver or whatever, you know, we can get one there. Uh, every mechanic can work on the plane. We only need one parts inventory, so it's much more cost effective. So there's a lot of values to that kind of a philosophy. But they're not SOPs, but they do impose a consistency of action of th and, and uh, decision making. Operating principles may change over time as technology changes, the economic environment changes and stuff, but for most successful companies, they change very slowly. 